Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, and just for you ladies who like your chick flicks, I've been continuing doing my February theme of Valentine flicks uh, with some favorite rom-coms and romance films. So, today we are going to review a film that came out in 2009, in the summer, and uh, I saw it back then, um, dragged, more or less. <laughs> Just kidding, but not really. Um, anyway, enough about me. This is the review of the film, Ghost of Girlfriend's Past. So, is it a good ghost, or is it a demon? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? It is, like as I said before, it's a 2009 rom-com that sees a bachelor that is haunted by ghosts of his past girlfriends. Who would I guess? Man, it don't tell you nothing in the title. Um, <laughs> during his younger brother's wedding weekend. Ooh, there's something new. Uh, so anyway, who's in it, you may ask. I got your answer. Matthew McConaughey who I'm sure, if I don't remember right, but I'm sure he takes his shirt off, uh, plays Connor Mead. He is the main character, the bachelor. Jennifer Garner is the female lead, who plays Jenny Pirati. Hopefully I say that right. <laughs> Michael Douglas plays Uncle Wayne, who is a ghostly uncle of Matthew McConaughey, who comes back to tell him his... He's sort of like the uh, Jacob Marley of the... Uh, story. I played Jacob Marley as a Jew. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, I think this girl's so hot, but I, I, I should have looked up how to say her name. Lacey Chabert, or Chabert, uh, Chabaret, <laughs> Cabaret, uh, from a lot of stuff. <laughs> she plays Sandra, who is the, is going to be Matthew McConaughey's sister-in-law for the wedding. She's the bride. Robert Forster plays Sergeant Volcom. You fanboys will know him from Heroes. He plays Peter's dad. Ann Archer plays Vonda Volcom, mother of the Archer, <laughs> from the Batman series. Uh, <laughs> Breckenmeyer plays Paul. Breckenmeyer reminds you of a lot of those guys like Zach Braff and whatnot. So He plays the brother, the bro of Matthew McConaughey and of course Emma Stone is here and she is great as ever playing Allison Vandermeersch <laughs> now there's a name Vandermeersch gotta love it anyway what did I think of Ghost of Girlfriend's Past you've been waiting this long to find out so let me tell you yeah uh, I thought it was an okay rom-com it seems to be the trending uh, stuff on here with these rom-coms uh, that takes a different kind of the genre a uh, uh, different kind it takes a different take on the genre a la the Christmas Carol obviously ghosts of girlfriends past is like girls of uh, girls ghosts of Christmas past in the Scrooge stories and whatnot um, and they also have you know characters that seem to be obviously characters that are based off of the Charles Dickens story um, although it's not a Christmas movie or nothing, so you can watch it any time of the year if you'd want to. Uh, it has its moments where it's funny. You know, I laughed a few times, uh, but, you know, it, it's one of those that has more misses than hits in the comedy department, if you know what I mean. Um, and really, I thought the film was somewhat all over the place. Like, they could be doing a scene where there's slapstick comedy of someone slipping on the cake, and then out of nowhere you learn a big life lesson. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> it sort of seemed like a lukewarm movie for some odd reason to me. Like, do I really care about this guy if he if he changes his ways or not? Not really. Uh, anyway, whatever. If you enjoy McConaughey's shirtless rolls, uh, um, you'll enjoy this one. Basically, all the ladies out there. He plays the same role in every uh, movie, really, so... <laughs> um, anyway, Garner is okay, but really the people that shine are the supporting cast. Uh, definitely Michael Douglas, definitely Lacey, um, and definitely Emma Stone. So, there's that. Um, 
This may be another one of those rom-coms where the ladies may enjoy it more than the guys. So remember that, men. But, however, guys, it is tolerable to sit through if you sit through it once. Um, I, basically, you have to do what I do with movies and come in with low expectations. For this one, at least. Um, and you might enjoy it. <laughs> if you say, oh, this is going to suck, you might be like, it was better than I thought it would be. So, anyway, therefore, the A-list gives the film Ghosts of Girlfriend's Past. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Not really. The rating of meh. It was okay. I've seen better. Have seen worse. So, it gets a meh. It's available, I think it's on Skinamax or HBO, one of those. So, check that out. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think it's in the red box anymore, but you can find it through Netflix. Or you can buy it if you're that hard up. But, uh, so, you know, it's, it's an okay film. Tomorrow I will be back with a new movie review, obviously. I always do every day. So why would that be any different? So, till tomorrow, till then, Troop, out.